On May 18th, 2011, I started my YouTube channel and posted my very first YouTube video at just 16 years old while finishing up my sophomore year of high school. This marks the 12th milestone and anniversary of my YouTube channel. YouTube was the site where my musical singing journey began. In childhood, I have always loved music. I remember listening to artists like Britney Spears, NSYNC, Michael Jackson, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Nirvana, Mariah Carey, Play, and Aaliyah, and many others. Many of them, especially Michael Jackson, being one of the artists I've looked up to, influenced my love and interest for music, plus it inspired me to use it in a way that would bring joy to others and positively impact them. When starting my YouTube channel, I faced many challenges. I truly believe the hardest part about doing anything is just starting, especially with it being something new and never imagining having the courage to do, as there is so much to learn and adapt to. On some unconscious level, it feels overwhelming at first because you have to figure out what you have to do, understand what you're doing and the obstacles that you're up against, but most importantly why you're doing this and what you're wanting to gain out of it. None of us know, nor do we consider or think about this in the beginning. This is just a large dip in the ocean of opportunities buried below and a risk that we take when we dive in, knowing absolutely nothing yet, even though there is something deep down that draws us in for a dive and a risk that we take. Of course, it's easy for us to just say screw it and take the risk, but never do we really find the courage to keep fighting for our dreams and move forward when confronted with an obstacle or a challenge. I believe as long as you know your reason why we're starting as for what you want, that alone should motivate and drive you to keep going no matter what you are up against. As I stated before, starting my YouTube channel wasn't easy. There were many challenges that I even still face sometimes today. I didn't know where to start or what to expect out of it. Singing was one of my passions and I was eager to get myself out there for others to hear. It seemed hopeless and discouraging because I, I, I was hardly getting any views. I got the occasional negative comments here and there. And I started out with crappy equipment, so crappy equipment equals crappy sound. It seemed hopeless to me, but I still persisted wanting to see it through, regardless of how long it took, because it was a process and it was a rough start. Every hate comment or dislike I received, even if it was just one or a few, it caused me to either take down the videos and oftentimes feel discouraged to continue posting covers on my channel. Reflecting back on my start and as well as during part of my journey early on, I've realized I put so much pressure on myself to the point I wasn't even enjoying it because my mind was more focused on impressing others rather than if I was happy or satisfied. Did these people actually care about the time and the effort I put into each video? Of course, of course I wasn't going to stop posting and show them that their comment bothered me. At least I refused to give them that satisfaction anymore and just choose me instead. I was done giving them that power over me as they were powerless already without my response or any signs that they bothered, they bothered or upset me. Clearly they didn't care anyway, so why should I? Um, one of the things I wish I've known before starting a YouTube channel really is don't try to be perfect. Don't worry about trying to impress anyone and more than yourself. Don't focus on them. Focus on you, what you're doing, and why you're doing it. Just be real. Be yourself, honestly, and most importantly, have fun with what you're doing. Make sure what you're doing is making you happy. That will impress and inspire someone. People can feel the energy you give off. Secondly, I realized as a YouTuber to not re erase your flawed videos, but use them in a way to track your growth. As a form, as from when, where you started and where you are now as a YouTuber. 
in a person, especially with what you want to do with your channel. Use it to teach and inspire others who will one day look up to you and be influenced by you to work on their dreams. Set the example and be the push that they need. I stated before that I had a crappy start and reflecting back, comparing my older videos, somewhat recent and newer ones, made me realize how much I improved with singing, how much more confident I became, but I didn't stop because I knew my why, my reason, and it was what I wanted to do. I, I was passionate and when you're extremely passionate and you enjoy what you do and you want it bad, you act like it and you work hard at it. You persist, you practice, and let your older videos be your guide and encourage you to do better and improve because then you evolve and you advance that way. Keep posting, keep working, and keep persisting. More importantly, keep posting. You never know who will pop in and be impressed with your content. Doing that earned me an audition to become a paid artist on Sessions Live. By the way, I passed that audition. Not only that, but people will be amazed. People will be amazed and inspired by your courage to keep going when it's hard. I didn't achieve much, but I will say these past 12 years were learning points for me. It made me see how strong I really am, how I evolved and grown overall as a person and an artist. I'm proud of myself and I want to shout out the people who were there supporting and encouraging me every step of the way. The ones who believed in me 